Oh, good God. I don't know. what Whatever my little camping stoves here are, I forgot what they are. Got a little Ranger Alpha over here. We're inside the AquaQuest uh, 10x13 Defender Tarp. I've uh, got the One Tigris Bulwark 10x13. And then in the far back there with the orange is the Free Soldier 10x10, 10 10, I believe it is. On the first night of real snow here in Chicago, uh, we're supposed to get anywhere from what I understand is four to eight inches. Uh, some people are freaking out and wondering. Making it sound like we're in the blizzard of 79. Uh, thinking that they can't make it to work. <laughs> You're in COVID, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm being sarcastic, I don't care. Um, so, that's what we got going on. A couple of, uh, we got a folding stove. Which one is this one? Boy, you remember? We'll come back to you on that one. Alright, we're back. Um, it's called the Firebox Stove. This is the uh, G2 version. Uh, it's stainless steel, I believe it is. Uh, we're just kind of cooking out. We were going to cook s'mores. However, uh, with up to 35, 40 mile an hour dust, as you can see, the, uh, some ashes and uh, some of the snow blowing in through our. Hey, pop your head up. Pop your head in there. There's uh, Ranger Alpha. Um, we got the Kingsford barbecue stuff so we wouldn't get too much smoke in here. Um, still. What was that? Was that somebody knocking? Backfire? So, it's either that or it's gunshots. It is Chicago after all. Anywho, that's backfire. It's one of them little uh, Euro cars. Little uh, crotch rocket wannabes. Alrighty, uh, that's about it for us. Y'all have a great day. Be careful if you're in the Chicagoland area driving. Because we all know you guys can't drive in the rain or in the snow. I don't know why. It comes every stinking year. Have a good one. Well, had it up. And it was pretty good. Had one of the cheap little tent sticks. I don't know which one it came with. Little shepherd hooks pulled itself out in the, in the snowstorm we had just a couple of days ago. Uh, however, um, we're gonna have another one today, so I'm gonna adjust these and uh, fix some stuff out here. All right, talk to you later. Well, after nine inches of snow. At least that's what they got at Midway Airport. This is the dropped version of the tarps. They are they are collapsed in a bit, and uh, well, you can see how how deep this is uh, because that is down on the ground. This is how high it is on the drift. So let's see. Oh, yeah. This is uh.
that area was as tall as I was. Am. Whatever. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's how low it goes. There's snow in there. Not a lot. A bit. They were pegged down, straight down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Seriously. Wow. Yeah, come walk over here, Bubba. Let's see. Yeah. Just walk, just walk. Let's try to follow my footsteps. Where are they coming up to? Mid shin, almost knee. almost knee, and that's that's how deep it is everywhere. This is just one day's worth of snow. Yay! Wonderful. It's just in the backyard. No shoveling. No nothing. Ah. Well, if you want to shovel, go ahead and shovel over there. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> Didn't sound like it was that soft of a landing. <laughs> That's how much is on the barbecue grill. Talk to you later. See, but that's, uh, that's outside on the street. The sidewalks are cleared off. And down the gangway, almost up to my knee. 